This video is brought to you by the Screen Boosted Scouting Initiative and the Montana Council Boy Scouts of America. Thank you for watching. We bring scouting to you. Boosted Scouting Initiative for the Montana Council. My name is Paul Greitz and I'm a scouter in the Black Otter District of the Montana Council. I will be serving as your Merit Badge Counselor. Before we begin your study of what it means to be a citizen of the world and how the international system works, you might have a few questions on your mind. So please allow me to take a few moments and try to answer some of those questions. One question might be, what do I expect of you throughout our experience with the World Citizenship Merit Badge? Well, there are only three things that I expect you to do, and they are as follows. First, you need to satisfactorily complete all requirements as stated in the BSA Requirements Book. Two, follow all procedures and guidelines established by the SBS Initiative and the Montana Council. And third, and most important, do your best and have fun learning. The next question on your mind might be, what is this merit badge really all about? Well, citizenship in the world is an Eagle required merit badge and is third in a series of three citizenship merit badges. More importantly, this merit badge is an opportunity for you to explore the nature of being a responsible member of our global community. Although there is no such thing as world citizenship yet, we all have a duty and responsibility to protect, preserve, and act in such a manner as to ensure the survival of our planet. Keeping that in mind, this merit badge offers you the opportunity to explore and gain a basic understanding as to how our current international system is structured and functions to meet the needs of an ever-growing and changing global political economy. To assist you to better accomplish your goal, I have divided the work into four parts or modules which are as follows. The first module focuses upon the first three requirements. It deals with concepts of citizenship and the national interest. Module two looks at how the international system is organized and how it works, which is found in requirements four and six. Requirements five and seven are addressed in the third module called comparative government and practice in international affairs. The fourth and last module discusses how you should go about getting your blue card filled out to complete the merit badge. A third possible question might be, what do I recommend that you do in order to successfully complete the merit badge in a timely manner in keeping with the quality of work expected of an EGLE required merit badge? Well, before you go to work on this merit badge, I would suggest and recommend the following. First, I'd get a copy of the Citizenship in the World Merit Badge pamphlet by purchasing it, borrowing it from a friend, or checking out a copy from your troop library. Second, I would read it, as it will provide you with the basic information you need to complete the requirements for the Merit Badge. Third, I'd go to the U.S. Scouting Project website and download as well as print out the worksheets for the Citizenship in the World. The information for access is provided on this website as a separate document. It will be these worksheets that will guide the discussions during our conference or conferences. Fourth, I'd encourage you to view the video modules on the website in the following order. Start off with module four, so you have an idea of what you're gonna be doing. Then go to modules one, two, and three to complete the requirements. Then view module four again to make sure that you have everything that you need done. It is the best way to understand exactly what you need to do and know to successfully complete all the requirements. Fifth, I urge you to download and print off the worksheets from the U.S. Scouting Project's website and record your answers there. there. Lastly, have fun learning about how to think globally and how our world operates. Well, the next step is to log out of this module, read your merit badge pamphlet, and print off the worksheets. When you are ready, begin working on the requirements for the merit badge by logging into one of the Citizenship in the World modules. Watch it, do your research, answer the questions, and write your responses down. If you get stuck, confused, or have a question, always feel free to contact me. For it is better to answer small questions now than to wait and have to deal with a crisis later. In closing, let me say that I am thrilled that you have chosen to work on the Citizenship in the World Merit Badge and that I am looking forward to working with you. Again, if you have any questions or problems, feel free to contact me. My contact information is found on the SBS Initiative website. Thank you very much and good scouting.